Are we live? I think so. And I'm looking like I need a haircut. So we'll I just wait for a few people to join us now and then I'll give you uh, some updates. Hopefully I won't get surrounded by the children. If I do, I do apologise. Nothing much I can do about it. But um, this is isolation, you see. It's what it does to you. It drives you loco. As you can see, I need a shave. So hello to everybody that's just joining now. Um, I'm going to give you tonight's update on uh, what is happening tonight. Tonight, I tell you. So tonight, we've got more ghost dimension footage being broadcast. So please tune in. We're going to start tonight's feed off at 8.30. So make sure you're there. It's going to be an extra special one. You can just see a couple of people have joined now. I'm just going to um, share the feed into our group as well. Um, oh, the two are the second the all is. Two second the all is. So hi, if you just joined, say hello. Let me know you are here. It's nice to speak to people. It's nice to, to know that you are there. So probably Paul's there, my mum and Bex. That's three of us. So come on, let's have some more people speaking. There's four. Brilliant. So tonight at um half eight we're going to broadcast buried beneath the bowling green um this is a an episode of ghost dimension flying solo so if you've not seen the ghost dimension episodes um, of flying solo they're available on pluto tv hmm. so much stuff on my tooth a bit of pizza i think uh, Pluto TV, Amazon Prime, um, and I believe they'll be coming to my five very soon as well. So make sure you, um, if you want to watch it before tonight, head over to one of those places. And I know it broadcasts 24 hours a day as a stream with um, Pluto TV, so you'll be able to check it out there. Now, um, this episode is a very good episode, and it features... Uh, Flecky Bennett. So you may have seen the video that we posted the other night of the unseen footage of the Bowling Green with Flecky uh, investigating in the basement. Well, this is the entire full episode of everything. So make sure you check check it out and join us live tonight as we broadcast the uh, the show, and um, it's going to be special. Last night we had Summer Sparks. She was live on the page giving out card readings. And I know quite a few people enjoyed that and you got your readings as well. And uh, it's always interesting to watch. You've got like Summer and Bear and they go live on the page and we get to see what they're, they're doing. So, and it's good and it's interesting. For me, it's interesting as well. So if you just joined and you say, uh, give us a quick hi. Um, there's nobody really commenting at the moment. So I don't know if anybody is there. So it just gives a little hi. Morning. Morning. Nice to speak to you. Nice to see some familiar faces. And um, hopefully some fresh ones too. Because we come on live here every day. Bore everybody to death. But that's what we're here for. We're here to bore you and bring you out of your isolation. Um, no, we're not really. We're here to, you know, to make some fantastic episodes and shows for you. But we can't because we can't go out because we're stuck in the house. <laughs> um, like and share, give us some love. Thank you very much. If you send in love hearts, I can't um, see them on here, so I can only see them on the phone because this is StreamYard. But uh, thank you very much. Hi to Lynn Peters as well. How are you doing? So um, the, the Bowling Green is based in um, Charlton, in Manchester. Now, what um, is exciting about that uh, is there is a lot of history in Manchester or natural history, obviously, um, historic history, uh, but also haunting histories. There's tons of it. It's, the buildings are hundreds of years old. And this particular building, Bowling Green, um, it allegedly has bodies that, and it's true, that were, it's not alleged, it's true that are underneath the actual, is the Bowling Green outside of the, the pub and the hotel. Now, um, Flecky knows the insides and outsides of that. I'm not gonna explain it now because I'll spoil it for the video. 
later when we broadcast the premiere at half eight on Facebook and on YouTube. But there's a reason for that. That's also, hi Maria, I stirred a lot of weird and strange paranormal activity that is now happening in the in the building as well. So is that because of the bodies, the, the bones that are now underneath the bowling green next to the bowling green? Or is it because of another reason? Is it because people have done rituals down in the building? Is it this is what happens sometimes? You cause this activity because of things that people do. Can you just close the door for me? Can we close the door? Good girls. Thank you so much. Because the dogs will start coming through and stuff, yeah? Thank you. So this is what happens. You can cause this activity by investigating these locations and doing things that you shouldn't be doing there. And so um, some of that's happened in the locations we've been to, but that could also be a reason why something like this, this building is, is haunted. Um, and it was good. It was a good investigation. Um, and the cellar of the building is just immensely high. And it's the actual central hub of the parallel process of the paranormal activity. So that's why we investigated it. And it was amazing. And it's also, if you've ever been there into this uh, area in Manchester, outside is a full blown nice. cemetery, which is um, a few hundred years old. And it's weird. Um, and you can step, it's the flat graves as well, you know, where you can step on the stones. It's really, really strange. Um, Lynn, do you and Bex buy each other Easter eggs? We don't. No, we don't either because we're not massive chocolate fans. We used to be when we were younger, but the sweet tooth wore off. Um, you know what we do do every night now? When the kids go to bed at night time, we grab ourselves a knobbly wobbly and we have a knobbly wobbly every night. Not every night, but most nights. Well, if we want something to have, we'll, uh, we'll have a knobbly wobbly. Uh, David, uh, hey, hope you guys are doing well. We're doing well, thank you very much. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, <clears throat> I'm just explaining tonight, live on Facebook and on YouTube, the premiere of Buried Beneath the Bowling Green is happening tonight. There's no psychic mediumship on tonight. It's purely Ghost Dimension, and it stars um, Manchester's very own legendary Flecky Bennett. So please tune in and check that out. Um, Vari, Bank Holiday is here. Not that it makes, oh God, is it Bank Holiday? Not that it makes that much difference on the times that we are now. Do you know what? I don't even know. Every day that I wake up and we're in this isolation, I have to speak to, um, to Bex and find out what day it is. Because it, it, you just completely get lost with, where you are, what 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 you, what you should be doing every day. You completely get lost. And uh, sometimes it's weird. Weird waking up not knowing where, what day of the week it is, especially when you remembered yesterday. Hmm? Um, did, 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 let me just check the comments. Nah, cool. Thank you very much. So, um, yeah, so that's what's happening tonight. Um, and then we, because... We broadcast last night the second half of Paul's unseen footage in Gran Canaria uh, from the House of Fear. Um, we investigated two places in Gran Canaria, which were the House of Fear and also the House of the, the Devil, so Casa del Diablo. And um, Casa del Diablo. <coughs> and both of these places were good. Um, the, for me, I personally enjoyed the Devil House because I, I felt like the activity that we received there was more intense, even though when you look back, like last night on Paul's investigation, he himself received really high uh, energy, paranormal activity during his investigation on the House of Fear. Um, for me, that was you know awesome to see that happen, because we also, and we filmed this as well, you see, is uh, we, we did two different locations um, over like, a few different nights and to piece it all together we 
need because there would have been too much overflow. We we filmed at separate locations, and so we just ditched each other, went off, and filmed the investigations ourselves of what we were experiencing, isolated in Grand Canaria, must say. Um, and it was strange. It was really, really weird. But it gave for fantastic results during the investigation because we then managed to uh, to pull out some fantastic stuff. Um, let me just have another read. Cheryl, hi Sean, hope you're well. Um, and the, and the same, I'm getting confused on what day it is. Being forced on myself to get up early and do the cleaning. It's leash day, exactly. Well, just do a bit of cleaning each day. Don't do, don't go too mad, because if you go too crazy, too loco, you'll be um, you'll your hands will wear off if you clean too much. Lee, I went. Good afternoon from Lee and Ange in Derbyshire. Have a great Easter, guys. You know what? I forget it's coming up to the Easter weekend. It's completely mad, isn't it? You know, would we have had Friday off as well as Monday? I can't remember. But yeah, happy Easter weekend coming up to you guys as well. And um, hope you all, if you like chocolate, get to stuff yourselves and feed your faces. You like chocolate? You're going to show it, Izzy? Okay, baby. Um, oh, dear. So, Varish is saying, hey, what did you think of the. I've got a really bad earache right now. Just going to. Super, super sore. Mm. Okay. What did um, what did you th uh, think to the super moon uh, last night? It was really good. Well, what happened last night is um, myself and Bex was, was sitting there watching uh, the we were watching what well, we were watching Castle del Papel, uh, which is Money Heist on uh, Netflix. We were both watching that and. Beck said, oh my God. I said, what? She said, the trees are on fire. I said, you're joking. Because we could see into the garden. My ears killing again. See into the garden. And um, it looked like the trees are on fire because of the colour of the moon. And uh, anyway, we uh, we saw the the fire. We went out, had a look, and it was the moon. And I said, Beck, you've got to look at this. This is the, the moon in the sky. It's like it's on fire. And it was. Um, that video that was up last night was brilliant. Thank you very much, Kerry. Um, we also just going back to the super moon. There was we took I, I wasn't gonna I'll probably post it a bit there on Facebook. I took a picture of the sky, I see weird lines in the sky. So yeah, do you know when you're right, Cheryl? I'll tell you why you're right in a minute. And there was these weird lights in the sky, and that's not lights, aliens, literally uh, lines in the sky. And that's what it would have been. Uh probably yeah, some from the moon, but it didn't. I'll post it. You can have a look later. Okay. Um, allergies are bad. Remember, the ears, nose, and throat are all connected. My ears have been hurting, and I have itchy eyes. Hay fever, exactly. And I actually suffer from hay fever, and so I've been sneezing away, um, like a sneezing thing for the past few days. And I think you're completely right there. And then, do you know what? I haven't got in the house, and I need to go and check to see what I have because I've not found any, any. Um, Hay fever tablets, and I normally find for me the cheapest hay fever tablets work the best. So, yeah, that's exactly what it will be. That's why my ears killing. It's not too bad. Um, the moon was great, and it it's meant to signify oh the end and new beginnings. Is hoping, yeah, hopefully, because I said to Bex this morning, you know, I said this, and I said I'm so fed up now with this lockdown. Because literally, I don't normally just want to go out for a, a wander somewhere, but I do. I just literally want to go and wander and wander and just go somewhere. So, um, and just get out of the house. Absolutely. It's horrible. Yeah, of course you can. You can see, Isabella wants to say hi. Hi. There you go. Do you want to ask me? Yeah, come on, Darcy. Say hi. Hi. Okay, big hello. Um, why is Bex not filming at the moment? Because she is properly letting her hair down and not doing her makeup or anything like that. Um, during this lockdown, it's a dangerous situation just happening there. Oi, Isabella, Darcy, 
No, no way. Get, no, get, get Ella down now. Now, now. It's proper kids climbing furniture. Um, hi, Trisha. I hope you're well as well. Nice to see you here. Nice to see you joining. So you just witnessed kids getting told off for misbehaving there. And now they're safe, which is good. So yeah, tune in tonight. Hey, be quiet. Uh, I have been working in a garden. Oh, I was going to plant some seeds as well today with the girls. That's it. Everybody's thinking, oh, it's this weather. It's gorgeous. Um, so tonight, tune in at half eight, live on Facebook and on YouTube. And let's start to watch this fantastic episode with Flecky Bennett. And uh, let's do it. Let's let's have a ghost dimension party together. Can you manage, Greg? Yeah. Oh, hi, Stephen. Hi, from Felix Stowe. Have you ever done anything down here? No, we've not yet. We've not been down there. Um, a lot of people ask us, have we been to different places? We haven't, purely because we've tried to cover as many areas as we can. But I'm sure, I'm pretty much sure at some point, we will we will get there absolutely so girls and um, you go and get take care of some more yeah good girls the mess of eating chocolates there we go as kids do i hope anybody else got kids at home that are off from school how's it going i hope it's doing all right i was just doing all right they just they, they mess up the house a bit but, but, but that's kids so i'm gonna go um, tune in tonight at half eight. Subscribe. Remind when I post the. Uh, I'm going to post very very shortly the link to the uh, video. Uh, get a reminder. Subscribe to our channels. And guys, until next time, we'll speak to you very soon.